So DJ, I finally did it. Um, the Neo 2 is official. It dropped yesterday, uh, October 30th, but only in Hong Kong and China for now. Yeah, that's right. The rest of the world still waiting. Leaks suggest Europe might get it by mid-November, while US availability seems to be rolling out later or maybe even staggered. Either way, the, the wait's over. Well, sort of. Now, for those who've been following the leaks, a lot of what we thought we knew was close, but not all of it. DJI always likes to keep a few cards up their sleeve, and this time, the biggest surprise comes from what's inside that tiny camera housing. It's now confirmed, the Neo 2 rocks a half inch, 12 megapixel CMOS sensor with an f2.2 aperture. That's a nice bump from the original Neo setup. DJI also tweaked the ISO range, now doubling it, which means you're getting noticeably cleaner stills and smoother low light performance. If you've ever tried shooting in dim lighting with the first Neo, you probably remember how grain would creep in the second the sun went down. Not anymore. Uh, early hands-on tests already showed the Neo 2 pulling in richer shadows, sharper details, and far less noise, especially when filming against city lights or in twilight conditions. The improvement's real, and it's one of those upgrades you actually see right away. The Neo 2 also adds some serious creative tools. You still get quick shots from the original model, but now there's master shots and dolly zoom, features that used to be reserved for DJI's pricier drones. They basically automate cinematic movements for you, and the results look surprisingly polished for such a tiny drone. The lens also got a little wider, now 119.8 degrees compared to the previous model. While a 2.2 degrees increase might help cram slightly more content into the frame, the real game changers on the Neo 2 are the move to a dual axis mechanical gimbal. Sure, it's not a full three axis like DJI's bigger drones, but don't underestimate it. The original Neo relied purely on electronic stabilization, and while that worked okay for casual use, it still had that digital correction look. With the Neo 2, early review clips suggest it delivers a more grounded, natural look. The horizon appears to stay level even during sharp banks or quick descents, and those small bumps you'd normally see in windy conditions seem noticeably reduced. And DJI's improved flight algorithms help too, it now anticipates motion better, smoothing out transitions so pans and tilts feel fluid. Let's get to the fun part, video performance. The Neo 2 can now shoot 4K at 60 frames per second, and even 4K at 100 frames per second for slow motion. That's a huge upgrade over the original, which topped out at lower frame rates. The result is buttery smooth footage with more detail and flexibility for creators. And for the vertical content crowd, yes, DJI's paying attention. The Neo 2 records native vertical video in 2.7K resolution at up to 60 frames per second. That's higher than the 1080p vertical mode the original got through a later firmware update. It's perfect for social media creators, no cropping, no hacks, just proper vertical framing right out of the drone. Bitrate also got a bump, it now peaks at 80 megabits per second using a variable bitrate system that adjusts based on scene complexity, so if you're flying over busy streets or lush forests, it automatically pushes more data to preserve detail. On average, you'll see around 50 to 70 megabits per second during normal footage, compared to the lower averages on the first Neo. Combine that with 10-bit color recording, up from 8-bit, and your footage just looks cleaner, richer, and easier to grade in post. Alright, let's talk flying. DJI squeezed out around 19 minutes of flight time from a larger 1,606 mAh battery, which is impressive considering the drone still weighs just 151 grams. It's a bump over the Neo's earlier battery. The Fly More combo, of course, adds extra packs if you want longer sessions. The Neo 2 now packs level 5 wind resistance, handling up to 10.8 meters per second, 24 miles per hour, a big jump from the original's 8 meters per second thanks to 30% stronger motors, optimized props, a lower center of gravity, and AI wind compensation, it stays rock steady even in 15 to 22 miles per hour gusts. Auto RTH kicks in above 11 meters per second, and while flight time drops to 12 to 15 minutes in strong winds, that's impressive for a 151 gram drone. It performs on par with larger models like the Mini 4 Pro and Avada 2, best flown in normal or cine up to 10.8 meters per second, or sport up to 12 meters per second. Just steer clear of rain or anything over 25 miles per hour. Now, the Neo 2's new Omniway monocular vision system deserves a shout out. This might sound fancy, but in simple terms, the drone uses a single camera on each side combined with sensors and software to perceive depth and detect obstacles. It doesn't rely on dual lenses like binocular systems, 
but when paired with LiDAR, IMUs, and downview infrared sensors, it can achieve nearly the same level of environmental awareness. What that means in practice. The NEO2 can see its surroundings more intelligently. It avoids obstacles, recognizes edges, and holds position even in visually complex environments, like flying under trees or between buildings. This small upgrade makes a massive difference in day-to-day -day flying. You spend less time worrying about bumping into stuff and more time getting creative shots. There's also a new LED display on the top of the drone, uh, something the original didn't have. It shows battery life, flight mode, and connection status at a glance. Simple but genuinely useful when you're out flying and just need quick info without pulling out your phone. Of course, DJI packed in all the smart control features people love. Gesture control is still here. Unlike some drones requiring a rectangular hand frame to select subjects, Neo 2 sticks to natural palm or open hand signals for most actions. There's even voice command support. So if your hands are busy, you can literally tell the drone what to do. Active Track also makes a return, but it's smarter than ever. With LiDAR support, the drone now understands motion depth not just color or contrast, so it doesn't lose you when the lighting shifts or when you move past objects. There's even a cycling follow mode, tuned for tracking riders smoothly along curved or uneven paths. A big change this time is the 49 gigs of built-in storage, enough for casual users shooting short 4K clips. But for creators or pros who shoot longer sessions, having a micro SD card slot would have definitely made more sense. Now, the part that's really cool, the removable OQSync 4.0 transceiver module. It attaches to the back of the drone and basically unlocks long-range connectivity. Without it, the Neo2 uses standard Wi-Fi transmission, good for about 500 meters, perfectly fine for casual flying or social media clips, but pop the module on and the range shoots up to 10 kilometers, plus it becomes compatible with DJI Goggles N3, Motion Controller 3, and RCN3, all offering 1080p live feeds at up to 100 frames per second. It's a modular approach that lets you start simple and expand later, depending on how serious you get. And of course, we've, we've got pricing. In China, the Neo2 starts at 1,499 yuan, and in Hong Kong, it's about 1,669 Hong Kong dollars. European and US prices haven't officially dropped yet, but leaks point to roughly 239 euros or 259 dollars for the base kit. Considering everything this drone offers, from 4K 100 frames per second and better wind handling to built-in storage and modular connectivity, that's actually a pretty solid deal. So yeah, the DJI Neo2 might still be small, but it's grown up in all the right ways. It's smarter, steadier, more cinematic, and a lot more flexible than the first Neo ever was. Whether you're just getting into drones or want something portable that doesn't compromise on features, this one's shaping up to be a serious contender in the compact drone space. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, hit subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Peace.